Hi uh, everyone, I'm Mary, and today we're going to watch Doug Doug torture people on Twitch because he has done, I made the hardest GTA 5 mod and challenged my viewers to beat it. I have seen him run this course in the last video we checked out from him, and oh boy, it is a horrible mess that is absolutely torturous, and I was there for every second of his pain. And now we get to watch him experience something he doesn't usually get. Other people suffering, as opposed to him. And I want this. So you guys know the deal. There's a link below to the original video. Hit it up. Today, I challenged my own viewers to complete a simple race through GTA 5. But this is no... I'm actually surprised he didn't edit in the car exploding when he said a simple race. We have seen that... He might have recorded parts of this before he tried it himself because he created and challenged it before he did it. If there is a moment where he just cuts in and says, I have now tried this myself. I have no idea what I just did to them. But it probably involves therapy later on, and I, I just want to see that moment more than Simple anything else. Race, because you must also use a mod that I built that will blow up your car. Any damage, yeah. Literally anything. That alone would be very hard, <laughs> but I also made it so that all nearby cars are violently boosted forwards or backwards every 10 randomly seconds? every 10 seconds. Yep. And the challenge is to hit oh, forward five or backwards. different checkpoints as fast as possible. The Which means Del braking Pearl is not always the, the best option. Bridge, the Maze Bank building, the police headquarters, and the And there's multiple course, people. They're probably racing to see who can do it the fastest. And touching literally nothing. For some oh. context, this took me literally nine hours to beat. Uh, and so yeah, I it was nine two hours. Categories for this challenge: one for the open. Okay, so he did actually record this part after. That's. I want that moment of realization somewhere in the video where it's like, <laughs> I made a mistake. Mate, it might still happen. Maybe we'll see what happens. If it does, I hope he left it in. Overall, fastest time and one for the most stylish run. And I oh. gave my viewers ten days to. Wait, the most stylish one? Is that an ice cream van? That seems... I mean, it's GTA 5. We know exactly what it seems like. Beat this. These are the very best Whoa. runs that I received. Starting with Captain Roach's extremely fast snow run for style. What? Now, what I want you to kind of look at here is snow the standard run? for these runs going forward, right? There are many runs that are slower than this and will what? get faster as well. But this is a sort of base... Okay, one, he has a rocket car. I didn't know that was in the game. Two, you could adjust the weather. Does snow make everyone drive safer? Less people on the road so far. Line run. Again, five huh. checkpoints, so he starts at the pier. Hmm. And now his second checkpoint, he's going for the best Oh, I thought he would hit that. Bridge. So this middle bridge right here, this is checkpoint number two. After Did he just jump that car? You left, you head towards downtown. In this case, he's using a jet car. I don't know if I'll actually be able to How get some the off. I don't... Boosts are allowed, by the way. It's just extremely high risk, high reward, because you're going super fast with less control, right? So he has a jet car on a snowy road that is making his drifting seem more constant. With all the mods, but honestly, there's so few cars on the road that the mod for making them jump around is probably what he's taking advantage of. So even if he loses a little control, there's less people to hit. I want to find out just how many tries it took this guy to do this. Doug Doug, nine hours. This guy, maybe we'll find out. That is... We're coming up on the third checkpoint here. Three out of five. This is the main thing. This. I am getting stressed looking at these... Ah... Oh, crossing the highway. He's moving towards the police headquarters right now. Nice dodge there. Gets the boost in. Does he go through the mall or around the mall? The mall is dangerous. Through it. Okay, goes through the mall. This is the most direct route to the library. If he gets whoosh. Wow, gets lucky with the boost. They literally pulled him out of the way as he was. <laughs> I am more invested in this than I have any reason to be, and it actually is causing me stress right now. You. If I had a heart rate monitor, and God knows I'm never doing that because content, mostly because that, that's embarrassing. I have very high blood pressure, most likely, and that would just be like, <laughs> I should probably not have a solid salt diet. It's there. I don't want to put that on the screen. If those have gone very forward, I think he was porked. Now, right up here, this is the library and police headquarters has to cross underneath this bridge. This is checkpoint number four. Oh. So once he crosses wow. the toll booth of the golf course. We're getting someone actually completing it first because everyone else is going to be horrible at it, right? Yeah, I'm kind of assuming that this guy's... I'm here for that. Course. That's the fifth checkpoint. This is actually done. impressive, so especially after the right last here. video. Here's the entrance to the golf course and time He right boosted there. on the corner? Amazing because that right was there. the entrance. He didn't need to survive. This is hours and hours and hours of attempts just to hit this run. This How is many? One minute, 53 second time. But over the first couple of days, we're kind of seeing this as the baseline. All right, you see either a Formula One car or a jet car, and they're getting like a right around... So, so in other words... They are very much abusing the fact he didn't say no boost to take it or just a really fast car to 
see if they can just get lucky on one run. They probably fucked it up. He's just random chance so many times until they finally got the right one. Oh, Sub God, this is... For people who are, like, really grinding this. About a day later, oh, RGB nothing. Cake oh comes in. He switches to an open-wheeled car. Instead of what? using the boost, he uses the Formula One-style machine. And this is generally better handling and a little bit faster. You just oh, don't wow, have yeah. high-risk, high-reward, boost craziness going on, right? But if he gets on... Now you're going to see right there. What? Yeah, that... It didn't do damage. High reward boost he got lucky. On, right? Oh. Now you're gonna see right there. It seems that if just your tire is hit, then that generally doesn't cause your car to. And because it has four big prominent cars, it actually gives him some damage reduction for little small bits of bullshit. But how far would that go? Be damaged according to the game. So you have like a little bit. And we actually saw this in his run, so we know that's a factor in his own settings that he was using. Because there was a moment where his car was on fire, and it didn't blow up. Because technically it hadn't taken damage yet because of weird things where it hit the tire, apparently. Huh. So this isn't like he's breaking the rules either. A bit of these, I guess, like shields on the corners of your car. But if you hit something too hard, you're just going to get screwed anyways. You'll still blow up. So this run is a 141. Dude, I do like how 12 seconds off Roach's run that we just oh, watched. He, what? That was, Bank, that was his third one. Taps right there. Again, it's up to the game Whoa, to decide does this count I think it because as a it had damaged a low... vehicle or was it just a little like a little kiss? Yeah, so again, bugs. the game is giving towards golf here, course. But... At this point, it's just a straight line to the end of the course. Oh, there's a guy coming. And that'll be his Why am I dodging out of the way? I'm literally not even playing. And time. 142. Now, at this point, most of the runs that I was getting were actually open wheel. And this is the first couple days of the challenge, right? This is early on. This was a 141, and it quickly became clear that you have to use car boosts in order to actually beat these times. And so next up, Far Gem submitted what? this time. Remember Far Gem's name, okay? If you remember with Roach's... Wait, why do we need to remember? Hey, did he do a second one to beat his own time? Who brought an airplane? Like, do they have planes and cars combined in this game? I know that technically they exist in real life, but... a car that takes into a plane because flying would actually be hard mode his first run he only used the boost when it was like fairly safe you'll start to see it used a little bit more here like this is a slightly Still dangerous spot to use pretty a safe at this but... point you you also just kind of have to believe you just have to like full if he gets one bit of a if way, they boost right, right there but yeah this, this is an insane spot to boost oh, this. Through it anyways. Another... i keep actually getting nervous when they're about to get hit i the previous video trained me to actually get nervous. I can't believe I have that Pavlovian reaction right now. It is legitimately hitting me. Oh, God. Another different thing here oh, is that Farjam started downtown. Oh, so the, this won't be the, the end for him. The two spots that we've seen start so far are the pier. That was a very popular one. And the one. police are oh coming. God dodges the car yeah. right there. Very close. Hits it with the boost into the intersection. Has this is... Two seconds. He breaks... Whoa! Dodges the boost just barely. Turns right here. And then again, once you hit the second bump... The second bridge, right? If he lands here, too hard, that's time. Like he incorporated enough boosting that you basically have to use boost to possibly beat him, which makes it way harder. So his one minute twenty-five How did, wait, seconds beat him? for a long time until Saboteur comes in. So Saboteur what? switches to the Toreador, which has, I guess, better boosting. I don't exactly it has know what it does. That's different from the previous car boosts probably. that were being used. Or Nos. But you're gonna see the Toreador quickly becomes meta. I think the handling seems like a little. Look at that dodge! Look at that dodge! Reminder. That alone, more than anything else, impresses me. Like, just look at that. Holy. It quickly becomes meta. I think the handling seems like a little... Look at that dodge. Look at that dodge. No, no, I, I'm agreeing with Doug Dog on this one. That That is... Was there even a single... Because he's on the boost right now. Oh, my God. I don't even... Yeah, it's coming up. Yeah, I think that is on the left side. You can see that there's a little air, but I don't see pixel separation at all. And maybe on his screen he can see it, but oh, holy shit! Look at that man. dodge! Look at that dodge! Reminder: We were at a 125 before this, which held for like a few days. He's gonna do all of this crazy shit to knock off two seconds. Turning is this probably really right slow. Here, there. I wonder if they can make this it faster. This pure sign. This proves really challenging. This is the point of the runs where people start going through. And the other, oh, actually, you might miss it. He almost screwed this one up right around this, this turn. Really he goes back on the road. This 
There's a car right here, and it actually breaks this rather than hit the him. The point of the runs where people start going it just slows down slightly out of the corner around the side of the sign instead of like flipping around underneath it. Again, once he hits mm. the second little bridge, the time ends right now. But of course, Far Gem fires right back. God damn. <laughs> this is insane. I'm sorry, just the sheer competence being displayed. If I saw this video first, I would think, wow, they make this look easy. We had just seen nine hours of Doug Doug just masticating himself. And I do mean that in the sense that he is chewing himself up. Mastication means chewing. And he is just grinding himself between those molars of what the fuck? And I can't believe I'm doing this to myself. Yeah, no, that, that, that metaphor seems pretty apt and disturbing and completely accurate to it. Nine hours of this. Back. <clears throat> You're starting to see the same sort of patterns here. Using the Toreador, starting from the downtown bank building and heading this direction, basically down the road and then heading right towards the police building and oh working an God. ending at the Vespucci canals. Far Gems 125 took like days for somebody to finally knock days. down. Days. Saboteur beat it by two seconds. Okay, so we got a two-second B here. And this, this guy's... This is the first run that is sub I thought we were seeing the best seconds. ones first. This no, we're actually getting minute, the progression over time. Second time. Oh, the hedge didn't get him. Notice how he's hitting boosts while still turning and then incorporating the boost through intersections. This is people. a level of play that involves no obscene memorization like, oh, of how people are in here. To use boosts. Just look at these turns. I love the turns. They're so aggressive. Coming up on checkpoint four. This is the pier. How does he deal with it? So again, going around this thing. <laughs> the right, and he's at the best. Did, did, I'm not sure anyone else saw that. Did you see? I think he actually got some wheel checkpoint touching four. there. This is the pier. How does he deal with it? So again, going. Did he actually. Right around here, do we see a little bit of smoke come up? I do not remember. Could just be... Oh, no, no, no. It was the... I thought it was smoke. It looks like that was already there from the... Yeah, the trees. It's just the trees. Oh. Turns corner right, and he's at the best Pucci canal. He got the lucky there, but no, no, he made it. Bridge. And now we're just Jumped the, bridge the car and boost in the air. It connects it at the end. Now, this is the point in the competition where I realized that I fucked up the rules. It turns out that your graphics settings in the game affect how hard the challenge is because you really? can set like how many cars are on the road and because your FPS for some reason changes how far the cars get boosted. So at this point, I split the competition into two categories. Hard there was an easy mode. Wait, this seems more detailed than this. Is hard mode low details? Did it take nine hours for Doug Doug to play easy mode? Or is it just my screen? No, no, 1080. Yeah. Hard mode is the main challenge we're watching, where you set the graphics to the hardest settings with the max cars and boosting, so it's insanely difficult. And then easy mode is any other settings. So let's continue watching the hard mode Easy runs. mode. What the now I'm starting fuck? to see times like a 139 by P1GN or a 143 by the Bobinator 531. Who brought a plane and just flew across the road? By Papita. Maybe for smile or a said, sorry apologies style. Apologies for the singing. I am going through divorce. She had plans to change her name. And you can really the feel for him here. Way. Hunted by a couple you can feel the mistakes. emotion. Oh, oh how do you know? Oh, because Can't wheels have bounced. You hear the whole song. With the bells and the whistle scaled back like an isolated. Um, I'm assuming that's a Twitch thing. It's probably a Twitch thing. Unless DMCA, maybe? Sorry, I couldn't hear you, Doug, over the divorcing. <laughs> Because all of the time, the chat is always a divorced guy getting divorced. Multiple times sometimes. It Doug, shut up. I'm listening to the song. All right, fine. Oh Felicis, felicitated most days of the week. <coughs> they have an AI voice rapping or something? <laughs> no! And then we get this run from Coconut Seven. He already made it through at the end. Okay. This run is a Whoa. 116 on hard mode as a reminder 116 is the record for easy mode by far gem this is the same thing but with hard just matched easy mode is basically just also full sending so it on every mode. single intersection i can't even imagine how many attempts this took to like have shit like that just barely work out in his favor on top of just driving like pretty much perfect hits golf course this is checkpoint number three Oh, he got lucky the there. Hedge. The hedges don't seem to blow you up. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, we've hedge. seen it a few times. Boosting but... through the sidewalk. Boosting it's again like at this infinite turn. boost is good right, on Ferris this thing. Here. This is checkpoint four. 
How's he do it? The slowest Goes he's going. First post, interesting. And cutting the corner. Ooh, he nearly hit that on the drift. Does Pucci. Gets his turn, dodges the cars. Also, look at the background music. Over the bridge. And Passing the car. Time. Oh! The oh, he nearly failed that by hitting it before he landed. That is. <laughs> this run is insane. I can't describe that is as insane as a level of competence in gameplay, man. Seven hours to hit a two minute time. This is a one. Seven hours for two minutes. And we've been looking at all the people who blew past that by reducing it 25%. 116. Absurd. This run holds as the lead. That's how good this run is. How and long? There are dozens that came in. Some honorable mention. Nilzox, two minutes, 26. Purple and Ghost, two minute time. Sealy Boy 98's 145. A Spectacore's 144. Werner XY's 141. Mr. Biglow's 139. Retro Let's Play's 128. Gambot's 128. And 8 Bits, 127. Far Gem. God damn. I still wish he'd put up an idea of just how many hours it took to get to be able to do that. Because if someone does a first try success, that is just as impressive to me as getting down to these times for a very different reason. But for very much, actually, I think about also the same reason. It's like, on the one hand, it's incredible competence of gaming. On the other hand, it's incredible competence of gaming without any idea what the hell you're getting into. It, it is terrifying and very Curly fascinating. Had the lead on easy mode. Got a 117. He got within one second, but that was the only one who actually got close. There was also a few that were like a few seconds away. Someone got a 119. Why do I know what else Somebody got a 120. But Coconut manages year. to hold it. Goes or on and on. So settings. yesterday I'm looking at the, the the submissions, right? The deadline is coming up. I'm like, I think Coconut actually got the record like midway yeah. through the challenge and was able to hold it. Did someone but beat that? At 2 p.m., six hours before the deadline, I get a submission. What? It's also a 116. And then at 5 p.m., I get another submission. It's also a 116. And then at 7.30, 30 minutes before the deadline, I get another submission. It's a 116. How many 116s? These are from Unknown Cat, Alpha Braveheart, and Saboteur. All okay, one, they all have cool names, too. Is 116 like the magic number of you just can't move the cars faster than this in this game with this map? All of them are timed know. as a 1 minute and 16 seconds. These but... come in right at the deadline. Right then, Coconut has a chance of being dethroned. And they are so close that I had to take all four of them and put them into Adobe Premiere and look at them frame by frame and time them myself. These are the four fastest times of the entire... And yeah, they're all seeming to use the same car with different paint schemes too. So this is definitely the... Wait. This guy has his controls on there. So he's showing what he's actually pressing too, which probably means he's emulating it on a PC then? I wonder if that matters. Or would that even be a thing? He just has a weird thing on his screen. I race. Unknown cat. Oh, unknown cat actually took a second longer to maybe less than a second. At to start. this point, everybody is using the Toriador yeah. and using boosts all the time. Like yeah. all the fucking time. These are all on hard mode, so pedestrian density is set to max and the cars are being boosted pretty goddamn far. There's some nighttime Damn. driving, but that doesn't seem to be a big enough difference. Everybody's also figured out the optimal route starting in downtown and moving towards the golf course. Okay, did anyone else just notice that? Alpha Cat, or Unknown Cat got really lucky Everybody's on that one. Everybody's also figured out the optimal right around route here. Start it bounced off. Instead of dropping into where he was going, he got lucky and it literally bounced above where he would have been instead of going right into his path. Moving in downtown and moving towards oh. the golf course. Coconut has a really smooth system, though. Two, I think his looks the coolest three, the out of everyone. Course. You can see Unknown Cat, Alpha Braveheart are very slightly ahead by this point. And but Coconut was taking advantage of... At the same time. Everybody oh. getting some ridiculous dodges, going over sidewalks. There's is... slight up... I'm actually... Or actually incredibly impressed right now. But just going back a second, you can see Coconut, when it came to the, the turn, time. he did take advantage of being able to Everybody bounce things getting some ridiculous on the hedges. Dodges, going over sidewalk. There are slight optimizations here. It looks like Unknown Cat and Alpha Braveheart, Braveheart are basically neck and neck. Maybe Alpha Braveheart is like two feet in front. Okay, they're hitting the pier here. This is... Yeah, you can see where Unknown Cat and Alpha Braveheart are the closest, followed by Saboteur and Coconut, but that's not the end yet. And they're all 
when they're less than a second apart, this is insane. And just turning around might actually be the difference right here. This is the sign. This is a huge part. They have to be extremely careful. Unknown Get cat came through like fast. Unknown cat now got a slight lead at that point because oh. of the pier sign. Dodges just barely at the top left. And now they turn onto the final road. All they He's got the straightaway first. He's almost there, but he's further in. No, no, no. He's a little behind. And saboteur is a little further behind coconut also serious i don't know what they're running but their smooth gameplay is significantly more noticeable than everyone else i wonder why maybe it's just my screen but it looks way cleaner all they have to do is hit the second like, bridge higher FPS all or four wheels cross the second bridge they win alpha braveheart goes holy fuck man Alpha Braveheart is probably at the moment of, oh, I'm just not going to pass this one right now. Like, you can see they stopped boosting. I just, if they lose because of this, I actually feel bad. Because they had the four-car pilot, well, three-car pilot, but with the fourth car coming in, happens to collide in such a way to clear it as he's going through, and he decided not to boost. And if he had, he probably would have clipped right through. Oh, wow. There... He couldn't boost here because he would have been hit. If it wasn't for that snarl, he probably could have boosted and caught up. And you can see the difference here. He's on the straightaway. You see the bridge. He's just a little further in the intersection still. He's at the top of the hill. He's about to hit the intersection. Oh, my. goes through five cars. Unknown Cat is just ahead. And he's boost the, the air. Oh. Now. Oh. Unknown Cat wins. With a 115.27, 60 minutes. Also, just going to randomly throw it out. Exactly at 116. Almost 117. They rounded down. Both of these guys did insane, but it's 0 0.03. 0 0.06 seconds difference. Milliseconds this is behind Alpha Braveheart, which is only what 700 milliseconds behind Coconut and less than a second behind Saboteur. That's These insane. all came in at the very end. Unknown Cat at 2 p.m. was in third place and managed to get the record and, and submitted it. Wait, this wasn't even his first. He outdid himself at oh 7 God. 30 p.m did so someone else come in from 2 p.m until like a late submission or something five and a half hours was grinding this and managed to shave off alpha braveheart's time by here let me show you in premiere this is saboteur and this is this is insanely fast this would have been just behind coconuts all week right so this is coconuts run right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty forty fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one two three four five six seven twenty seven frames between sabot uh between coconut and unknown cat and so this is unknown cat's time at 2 p.m one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven frames behind alpha braveheart alpha braveheart had the record up until 30 minutes before the competition and then unknown i gotta check the comments just I was hoping one of them would be the... Oh, there's Saboteur. This was much fun to play. Never really did anything to do with speedrunning before. Seeing the style runs after a week plus of torture, it took him over a, more than a week to do this. It's a nice way to relax. Still, oh, I hope we can do something like this again soon. Congrats to all the winners. I did, my wife saw this video and is divorcing me because I didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that they edit in the divorcing joke. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, that's uh, dear God, man. One, impressive. Two, week plus to relax. God damn. Known cat managed to shave off one, two, three, four frames. That's how close it was. And that is how Unknown Cat won the Hard Mode Challenge category. Now let's jump back over to the Easy Mode category. Okay, Easy Mode. When the split they call the two different stylish? difficulties happened, Far Gem had the lead with a 116. And for mm. several straight days, so nobody was coming even to close to that time. It looks Again, like they did turn down the absolutely absurd. On this. And it turned out the only person who could beat Far Gem was Far Gem. He submitted this a couple days later. This is a one. Wow. Yeah, no, they definitely turned down the graphics. It looks... 
like a 90s MMO, if a very nice 90s MM, 2000s MMO, maybe mid 2000s MMO style when you turn the graphics down that far. That is, that is noticeable. Wow. 113. Two Still seconds well, faster though. than that hard Very run, smooth. Which is basically yeah, perfectly time, optimized. So somehow Farjam managed to shave two seconds off of his own basically perfect run in easy mode. I don't I couldn't even tell you where the two seconds came from. Like this feels like just as optimized as the previous one, but clearly there's like just enough just a little minor less dodging cutting of turns, minor optimizations. Maybe he was able to get in more reps because there's less cars to deal with. And just manages to shave off that tiny amount of time. Like that was a sharper turn right there than the hard mode ones. Because normally he had to take a wider turn. Yeah. Goes for second bridge. And nails it right there. Literally seemed unbeatable. I, I don't know how you possibly top this, right? Then someone it topped two it. Two seconds faster than hard mode. Jory 011 came within six seconds. He got a 119, which is, Not bad. again, insane, right? Unknown Cat, who won hard mode, right? Came within four seconds. He got a 117. And as I was. Oh! So they actually did better on the hard mode than the. Damn, still, this is. Watching the minutes. I'm actually looking forward to the style night, side now. Just see what the hell they came up with. Anticlimactic. Farjam just won it, like early on. Just took it. Nobody even got close. Damn. And at 7.58, two minutes before the 8 p.m. deadline, two I minutes. received a run from Saboteur. It what? was a 113. It looked exactly like Farjam's 113. <laughs> yes, yeah, Saboteur. Seeing the style runs after a week. Of, oh, no, it was the style runs that were the way to relax. On the other hand, week plus. I'm sorry. I'm still coming back to that, man. Apparently, Doug Doug's nine hours were considered weak numbers for this event. <sighs> Normally, when you do this to people, it's considered a cult. So I pulled it into Premiere. These are the two fastest times Jeez. for easy mode. I can't even match up where they're at right now. Oh, these are in. No, they're in the same locations Again, too. Same, same cars. Route, but with enough extremely minor optimizations to shave off two seconds. Yeah, Far Jim went around the corner a little tighter. run, which is already basically perfect. Oh, Far God. Jim has you held can... this for like a week now. Saboteur submitted with two minutes. Basically, completely neck and neck. I don't oh, see he got any, closer. He's actually catching right up. Now. The crazy part is you can see that he had a lead. Farjem had a lead early on because he cut a few corners a little tighter. But then the turnaround, he slowed down a bit and had the saboteur catch up there. So theoretically, it could be possible for someone with even more time and masochistic tendencies to push themselves further than either of these. That's that. No. Why would you do this? I mean, I would say this in general to anyone who did this, but oh my god. Slight difference in route there. One went for sidewalk so he could hit a sharper turn here. Fargem stayed a little bit wider on the roads. They're both coming up on checkpoint number four. This is the pier sign. He's going through it directly. Oh, and the other's going around. Saboteur it. enters the first. Fargem goes. But Fargem the second. And then as they get to the end. Oh, he went over that car. jumps over the cars. Fargem doesn't deal with it. They both turn. It looks like Fargem is oh. maybe a slight lead. Hits the boost. He boosts like early. Three frames before Saboteur does. And they fly into the end. And Fargem has it. Once four wheels over the bridge, that's time. And Fargem takes it. By 280 milliseconds, he did defend his time, and he did beat easy mode. Farjam took it. Basically, just fucking a... Dear God, man. Annihilated easy mode the whole week. Saboteur almost took it from him, but was so goddamn close. This is Farjam's time, and that's Saboteur's. That's unreal. Insane. So like actually that was insane. A hell of a, a run. My god. Oof. My god. Easy ended up being also way more fucking competitive than I expected. Really? So sick, dude. But yeah, of course a lot of we're not games. done. There are a lot more runs because we have the style runs. Okay, first things first. I need to go back. I don't usually look at what he has on his setup there, but what the hell was that? Hell runs. Is that his actual computer? I thought th no, no, that's not his computer. That's just part of the scenery. For a second, I thought it was, and I have no idea what it looks like. A clamshell. Very late 2000s. 
But of course, we're not done. There are a lot more runs because we have the style runs. I will oh, show all of the decisions first, cart? and then you will he make the decision. The golf cart. Who was oh my God. the most stylish run? This I'm actually looking forward to. Challenge. And I get Saboteur. This is a two minute yeah. 45 run by Ranchi. And see if you can notice what's different. Ah, where the fuck is Doug? Oh my God, panic. He's like, ah, hello. Can I put it words how amazing this community is? I love you, Doug. Oh my God, Monopoly party. Where's the water? What the hell is up with his chat? Different uh, about it. Why was Nightbot the one panicking? Played the entire fucking challenge in VR and got a two minute 45 time. <laughs> <laughs> He's going at fucking breakneck speed, too. It's not like he took it easy. This, this isn't a challenge. This is a try to maintain your stomach inside of you challenge. I am looking at this and I feel like I'm going to throw up, but I'm not even in VR right now. Ugh. This was so much harder than the base. A painful divorce. How to move on. He actually has that so often as his chat that it comes up in his recommendations. Oh my God. Run, partially because it made me queasy. Partially because you can't see your entire car. This is a fucking mess. How many hours do you think he was in this? Ranchi, are you here? How long did you- He had to do this for hours. Confused Rhino. I'm scared knowing this man on the road IRL. Oh my God. He had to probably do this for hours to get this time. So he spent hours in VR on this race with part of the screen clipping out of the car while he's watching from the VR side. I thought the hard mode guys were insane, but no, this first style one is absolutely batshit. He's driving I... like a fucking lunatic and is alive somehow. 40 oh! Hours. 40 hours! Go outside! Read a book! Um... This seems excruciating, and I would not wish it on my worst enemy. This next one, it's a with Doug on that little one. bit emotional, what? so you might want to grab a tissue. Did he just run Doug, Doug, the entire insurance time? insurance fraud simulator while what? drunk. Sorry about the audio. I, I was divorcing, divorcing my wife. My wife. <laughs> what the it. hell? It's gone. Just get over it. What do you mean? What do you mean it's gone? What How are they? How can you have spent our savings? <laughs> Why is there a laugh track? Why do they have both sad and laugh track at the same time? They're having fun. I have absolutely no idea what is going on right now. And I can't tell if that's the actual video doing that or if this is the Twitch chat just deciding to troll him further. <laughs> the laughter just gets louder and the wheel's about to fall off. The fact that he hasn't just fallen apart in the car itself is surprising. Hello? 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 Oh, hey, hey, hey. How's it going, man? So the budget, it's... uh. Honestly, I feel like it's not looking too great. He propped the phone into his headphones. I don't know why, but this actually physically causes me pain. And I don't like it. Everything about this, I don't like it. Great. I feel like uh, there might be some distrust within the co company. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I don't know how we're going to pull this off. I don't know whose idea it was. This man uh, does a full 10-minute yeah, yeah. I mean, business call and, I mean, while driving through the city. Are, hey, Jim, are you, you're you breaking up a little bit. Jim, hello? <laughs> hello? Was this actually this a business is, call? I believe the slowest yeah. run. On the other hand, he did complete But I I'm not sure which is weirder. That he's doing a bit where he's on a business call the entire time. Or that he actually took a business call while focusing on this. I can't tell if that's a level of dedication to work, a level of dedication to gaming, or sociopathy. Most likely the last one. I'm going with the last one. That is definitely the last one, and it's impressive and terrifying.
one that I got. What was that? Because he stopped at every fucking yeah, stop traffic. over there. Yeah, traffic's He's pretty bad. He's actually traffic. following traffic. <laughs> pretty bad out here. Whoa. I almost got hit just now. I almost, almost got, I almost got hit. Said. Jesus. Oh my god. God needs to watch where he's going. What? We're no, trying I'm to here. do business here. here. What I'm are you doing? Here. Okay, I mean, okay. So. Watch this. Think, uh, watch I'm this. I'm so fast. <laughs> oh god, I mean... He cut that Seems one. Seems innocent enough. That monster. But if you rewind the footage here... It had a look stop. Look at this. I mean, I'm open, so where do you think... Uh, he's discussing I'm business. So Seize the yield sign here. But stop. Written on the ground. Classic California driver. Unless San Andreas is somewhere else. I have no idea where it's supposed to be set. Oh, Blows God, right man. past the stop. Unforgivable. Cheddar, you know what I'm is he like all Pritzker yeah. on this one or something? But he's trying to get cheddar. Uh, he's trying to balance uh, getting I'm to his business meeting as fast as possible. Oh my God, but also, going, why was there a yield sign yes. when there was a stop? I don't understand. Ooh, Let's go to the last really minute. Crazy. He's having so much fun I, with I this. I slept with your wife. Incredible. I slept and Hunter with your went wife on to earn 25 million in revenue that quarter. Beat this any percent run. an awesome Mario Odyssey speedrunner and YouTuber. You should check him out if you have not. Damn play gta 5 really but that's that's how i'm gonna catch the other competitors i'm sorry i just need to say he has the fluffy doggo i don't care about the rest i'm already jealous just that that is adorable and i need to find these two giant fluffy fat cats for my wife because she has real ones to cuddle with right now but more always is good off guard really that's like, not good logic them, you know i also spend a lot of time looking in the mirror and proving <laughs> myself i'm gonna play the best goddamn gta 5 of my life what? well that uh, makes sense all that build up i chose the limo because it's what i'm going to buy with the 50 million dollars i win from doug doug next event <laughs> what oh i hope they get to the point where he could actually do a 15 million event just to troll people prefer to fucking use a limo the longest car and actually completes a run i forgot the time he did the end. you can do that oh, oh that's smart I mean, is he just going through the park so much easier he's wow, just so this, okay this is actually the routing is really different on this damn yeah everyone else kind of with the same mess right there but... just go just go just go please please yes he just has to get through that I intersection without anyone hitting him it has been done. like that one car that jumped on the run. side the one and only Limousine run. Boom. Submitted to the community challenge. <clears throat> the mythical dump truck. Off talked to He actually starts playing God Killing Star in the background when he sees the dump truck. I don't even. Sorry, not God Killing, God Shattering Star. My apologies. About multiple other people oh. mentioned dump trucks and said, I didn't do dump truck because it's too hard. And this is this hard route. mode, man. This route. No, the other ones the other ones don't count. This is hard mode. No, just kidding. Dump truck is fucking impossible. Thurlow decided that a dump truck was too hard, so switched to a bus. And yes, he did actually. He actually. This okay, the dump truck was impossible. He did a, a bus. Look. It's even Every bigger. You are like blocking the whole thing. Any car that appears. A over car, the a boosted, person to coming you. down too and hard from turn, the incline. The radius is so slow. So right here, he's probably going to wait, right? So he waits for the boost and then goes. But look at how much time he has left once he finishes the turn. This is a, a oh, psychopathic dude. thing to do. Three minute 55. Like, Not even the slowest one. fast time for a bus. Every vehicle has different problems that it has to deal with. Bus is certainly one of the most absurd. Um, okay, I wish someone actually tried the dump truck. And then somebody did actually do it with what? a dump truck. This is a 10 minute run <laughs> by Cisroot. Who successfully and he went back to God Shining Star. Around all of GTA 5 without touching anything. He... It, 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 you can see right here. He, uh, it's kind of like the wheels. There's that bit of shaving you can see on the edge where it's mostly cosmetic. Uh, I'm not sure. Actually, I thought I saw something come off. No, no. It looks like he didn't shave it. It's just so close. That little flare of light underneath the shadow made me think it was a little bit of smoke. From it, no, 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 there wasn't it. Without touching anything. Dude, every turn is If they boost right here, insane. he dies. Like that, he had to get lucky. How many times do you think this took? <laughs> Every stop this like, is... almost clips him. Even the bridge. <laughs> he's like almost hitting the top of the bridge. For yeah. every time that he did this and didn't get hit, there's got to be like a If they boost at any time and they just happen to Backs go the wrong up, way. Let's this car turn. The boost happens. Doesn't connect with him. One comes from behind, but only hits his wheels. The car's stuck. Moves backwards. Gives him a gap. Does he go for the gap? Doesn't go for the gap. Waits. There's only four seconds till next boost. 
Should be safe here. He boosts backward again. He has to wait again. Okay, moves forward and gets over the hump. How does he get line. around this? Can he even fit through that? He can. Dump truck run of the GTA 5 challenge. And I know what you're thinking. He finally went to sleep and rested, knowing that he had done. Oh, no. Did he actually come back for more? That crazy son of a bitch actually came back for more. On his work, he instead submitted another run where he drives a hang glider. <laughs> the city, <laughs> they did it. They flew it. The now, on finally, the ground. With his dump truck work done, he can head off into the sunset. A champion. Technically, it's illegal. He never said he had to stay on the ground. Does this count? Godspeed, dump truck man. Oh Next up God. is backwards <laughs> from low point. Now, let me preface this a little bit. If you drive backwards, your controls are flipped. What? The car's going to move slower. What? Your handling's worse. And he's playing this on hard mode. This run is five fucking minutes. Five straight minutes of this. I, ho I hope it's clear that I'm not like playing this up for content. Every one of these runs is like potentially dozens of hours. I was going to. Again, I like I said, I wish they would just put a little watermark in the corner saying how many hours it took them to get there. And I'm assuming most of them would have either two to three digits. Minimum. Go forwards afterwards, but I immediately exploded. I don't think <laughs> you hit a thousand hours in the two weeks. I'm not sure. I don't do math well. Now, you're going to notice something a little silly about his car. You might think, is that what's so stylish here? What? That's part of it. However. Oh, God, it's a little clown car. You're going to notice that the camera is in a weird spot. And that the camera changes to a He did cinematic mode the entire time. <laughs> Priceful beat the whole thing. Using In a cinematic, cinematic mode. clown For van. In a couple of seconds, the camera will switch to a new location, which could be fucking anywhere. And you have no real idea of what's happening around you. This guy drove through the whole downtown with the cars boosting everywhere. <laughs> In cinematic mode while honking. Yeah, I'm just going to say it. The, the style mode really is insane, but it's not insane like the sweaty tryhard. It's more like the putting on a fancy suit, walking up to someone in McDonald's, making an order, waiting until someone starts going full Karen, demanding food when you can see they ate half of it and they just want a refund for the first half because they can get away with it. I'm speaking from experience. People are assholes. And then instead of doing anything else, you walk up to them. You kindly offer them a business card for someone else because fuck them. And then you backhand them across the face because fuck you, man. I don't work here. I can get away with it. And also I'm in a suit. So they're never going to assume I actually can't be sued. And then they find out later that you're actually sue proof because you don't nearly have as money to actually be sued. So even if they got everything you have, that would be a nickel. And it is the ultimate power move. And that is what this feels like. Sometimes when I close my eyes, I can still hear Priceful honking out there somewhere. He's actually honking the entire GTA time. <laughs> Hits oh! Four minute, 21 second time. Next up, by Starting with an head. explosion. It started with him trying with a normal vehicle for quite a while and having some issues. As How see. did they? He failed over and over and over. And finally, he had an epiphany. Did he actually fly this one? I was so close yet so far. How many explosions? He must have changed it up. Ryan Lockwood taught us and tried again. Who's Ryan Lockwood? Then I remembered what Ryan Lockwood taught us. Is that a go-kart? That's fucking right. I skipped 113. I am a fucking legend. 112, baby. To the what? Proceeds to do a full yes! go-kart run. It is a go-kart run. Go -kart finishers. It's so Very small. Impressive. Yeah. Not really good at this challenge. Hell, the person's model is... My insane pace. Right here. This is the 112. He can barely turn. Right it's so yeah. small. Now, I, I am sorry to inform everybody that he did not get a 112. But 317 go-kart victory. That's big. That's a big play right there. In order to be the most stylish, I had to become someone In order someone to be the else. most stylish. What? Guy for I had for to become Harry? Guy Fieri. Or Fieri? What? I don't get it. Swaps his model. It's probably something I... Heads back oh, out. Oh, someone's supposed to look like Guy Fieri? What? Also, I have no idea what this jazz music is. I feel like I should recognize it, but I'm just pulling a blank on it. I don't remember if he beat it. Boom! Nope. <laughs> no, no. no, I don't think he did. He definitely upped the so new plan. Driving, driving backwards. backwards. Oh, 
Yeah. Does, I don't remember who beats this. That's a crazy enough car that kind of looks like it. But. Wait, but now you're going forward. Okay. Nope. Cinematic <laughs> no mode. Cinematic mode. I mean, he actually beat it in one of them, but... So he might not be beating these. But he's trying. But he certainly is doing stylish things. I don't remember how long this goes. I'm sorry, did that just... But he certainly is... I think something just jumped over him. Where was it? Around Wait, here? Stylish. Yeah, yeah, he got really lucky here. The car flipped in the air while he was driving under it in cinematic mode. If this had happened, this would be the point where I'm just on the side going, nope, well, I gotta change my pants because I just shit myself in fear. Stylish things. I don't remember how <laughs> this goes on for. And he blew up. Okay. <laughs> Do you beat any of these? The go kart. Okay. Random right. plane exploding. Okay. And yeah, let's add more into the mix. Cinematic mode uh, and airplanes. <laughs> what do you do in this situation? <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it just cinematic, cinematic backwards. backwards plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's smooth when he goes back. No, he right. hasn't crashed yet. Is that a biplane? No, it's a <laughs> improvised, not alive. Yeah, How do you turn the explosions the on that much? That was a good attempt. Good attempt. Looking right into the sun as he flies away. Oh my god. Someone's having fun with this. Are you done? Hey, more planes. Well, one of them hit him before he falls. Why does it feel oh, like Breath of the Wild driving in the city. or Tears it's of the Kingdom? Challenge. He's having fun with this. <laughs> and so, random crash plane. More. Guy Vieri found peace and quiet <laughs> with all the planes. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't, be, he didn't beat the challenge. Doesn't count. <laughs> Guy Vieri can't just leave. He can't Lives just among the fish and debris. Did he just spot in all the dead planes? Enjoying his life, if that was a stupid, difficult, difficult challenge. Guy Fieri would have beaten it backwards in cinematic camera on the Guy would have done it. Nuke that. Bribe Twitch no, chat no, with After Cookie. Flynn the Redhead's excellent uh, submission, I received this. And all of it is just Twitch chat being bribed successfully. I mean, uh, I would be completely bribable with a cookie. It is completely a thing. I am easily bribed with food. Video. Hey, Doug Doug. Uh, I heard that you were uh, accepting GTA 5 speedruns. What? I, uh, I don't know in GTA 5. My, uh, do they do this in Minecraft? The game when she, uh, when she left me. <laughs> GTA 5, so, Doug Doug speed one of the rules run. is very kidding. much you uh, have I'm to play the right game. I, could, uh, I just want to be clear here, because there seemed to be I some confusion on some what? of the submissions. Really, really fast across the village. The Maybe challenge is not like just that. go fast in I a video gotta, game. I said something up real quick. What? I know it doesn't follow the You have to. Rules. There's oh, specific rules. Anyway, let's All right, uh, chat. Consider let's go. how stylish this is in relation to breaking literally every Please. single rule. <laughs> and you got to admit. I don't know. It looks like he's doing pretty good point. so far. Doing a pretty good job. Oh, well, he blew up. Can't be helped. Damn. Next up, I got this run. This is a. He actually put Eight in the video and though. a half hour Hollow Knight speed run. What? And you know what? At first... Eight and a half hour Hollow Knight speed run. So there's apparently an entire category of stylish where they just give him a different game. Is that just a thing that happens? First I thought, what? well, this breaks all of the rules and every single facet of... Please tell me at the very end, there's actually the correct video. He just spliced it in there to fuck with people. What this challenge is supposed to be, but like, maybe it's at least a good speed run. So I checked the leaderboards. Guy Tush's run <clears throat> is last place. Jumping. I mean, on the other hand, he is in a place for a speed run. Better than I can do. Bluff is the submission. Eight and a half hours a year ago. is five hours slower than the world record. Why did you send me this? <laughs> This is not fast and it's not the right game. But it got you to anyways. show it. So maybe Chad will vote for it for most stylish. It was kind of cool. Most likely, These yes. wonderful the submissions cookie probably continued. Wins, I got 25 people who just sent me a Rick roll. Uh, yeah. One guy just sent me a Pornhub link. Like just straight up Pornhub. Didn't try to hide it. And this. Did it go to one of those weird Pornhub videos that are actually completely legitimately clean? Because apparently that's a category of humor there where you go on and it's the most disgusting title. But then it's this guy in a suit who's just like 
doing the rosary, filing taxes, cutting the lawn, and all of it is just him with a smile, looking very clean and 50s smile guy, who at the time wasn't ironically kind of disturbing, but doing that and just being wholesome. It is a weird niche, but is a thing that exists. I'm glad we all are aware of that now because it's unironically quite amazing point like i feel like okay we've pretty much seen everything right like these are some ridiculous ridiculous runs yeah some of them not even in gta 5 did they get and then I got this run what so at first i was a little bit confused about the camera angle of this right what? this man beat my hard ass gta 5 challenge on one-handed with one hand while solving a fucking Rubik's Cube. He completes the Rubik's Cube during this run while beating the challenge. This is fucking insane. This is from Unknown Cat, who won the hard mode. I mean, seriously, damn. That is, is that a 2070 or a 4070? I do not know off the top of my head. Decent enough cooler. Mm, like the fan. Sorry, I, I like PC stuff. It's fun. I watch a lot of videos about it. I'm a dork. But he already won the hard mode and he decided, you know what? I'm going to play it for fun. One-handed while solving a Rubik's Cube, and he has a second one here. Oh god, does he just double it up? This is the fastest runner of the whole challenge, and can apparently do this too. One-handed, like while solving a Rubik's either. Cube. He's like navigating on the sidewalks, right? He's not taking the easy route. Two <laughs> Rubik's Cube! a second one after finishing the first. Like, playing with one hand alone. This is just flexing that at this point. Be, this is, like, Nux level flexing. Like one of the most He's going faster. He I paused to solve it oh, more. Through the hedges there. He already solved both of them. And now he gets to unlock Rubik's all of his done. brain to finish In it. the first three quarters of the run, played one-handed, solved two Rubik's Cubes. And from here... He just closes if it he out. had a third Remember, one, he'd probably solve that too. Unknown Cat is the same guy who who beat the hard mode in the last 30 minutes of the challenge. He I think there's only one thing to do here. I salute you, you insane madman. He was one of the top runners, then did this, and then was like, you know what? I'm gonna He got the go style the on this one. The this is not style, this is flexing. Oh fucking hell. You did this willingly, what a dude. Fucking run, unknown cat. My God. And finally, one last run. Hello. Is there anything crazy in this? Decides that he will try to make art <laughs> with one hand <laughs> while while playing my challenge in the other. Let's go. Now, most of the runs, we don't really have a great sense of how much. Unknown cat was flexing. This, uh, I can't do art in general, so any of this is insane. He, he, I, uh, what the actual hell? No, I'm not even joking here. This is like, you got to splice this together. And if you did, great, incredible creativity here. But I, if this is real, Thinking two thoughts at the same time is hard. Focusing on an incredibly difficult challenge that takes weeks, if not solid weeks of time spent to get it down to the point where you can do it with less than full attention and then deciding to do anything artistic. Like, hell, a stick man would be beyond me if I was focusing on this. Also, this challenge would be beyond me even if I was focusing on this. But it's not really a big difference there because I could not do this to save my life. Much time passed while they were practicing uh, this. You get a little bit better sense of this guy because we can see all of the paintings that he completed <laughs> while practicing. This you can see awesome. him looking look around at too. Crew, crew over here. Damn! Look at Rosa. He's this actually so doing a really sick. nice job on this. Ooh! Look at what very he stylistic, but I like it. <laughs> this is like beautiful artwork. Very stylistic this. too. How much? So it wasn't just him beating the challenge it was all of his attempts while he's painting and trying to beat the challenge on the side 
it almost seems like the challenge is the break from the artistic creativity required. Time! My paintings started to look really good. And after eight hours and a lot of luck. Eight, eight hours. Is it? I'm sorry. While also doing multiple paintings and doing the challenge, he did it an entire hour faster than Doug Doug, who was fully no lifing it. Except this is his job to do this. Oh my God. So this probably has to win style. At least don't get with, me wrong. At least uh, no, with him, no, like at the end of this, he's got think, several think beautiful it. paintings to look back on. Yeah. So then he proceeds to show the actual run, and this is pretty standard, right? It's oh, slow. those are the practice runs. We're talking runs. a five-minute run, but paints through a landscape the entire time. Oh, fucking go! And Let's then right here, go. victory! At last, Hits I it. managed to do it. Look at that! Look at that! That's amazing. The meme, Super Smash. Jinx, Red Dead, I think that's Monster Hunter, Doug Doug, Breath of the Wild, or Tears of the Kingdom, Xeno Blade, or I'm not sure which one that is, but I only played Xeno Gears myself, and Xeno Saga, but that's only a spiritual successor, Bayonetta, oh, Wa, Wa, oh, sorry, Wa Luigi, why does it say, oh, because Doug Doug, of course, I really like his style, so cool, and that's our final submission. I think I speak for everyone when I say, God damn, the cookie probably won amazing the set of style runs. Holy shit, you guys are so talented and crazy. It's wild. Even That's if you're insane. our last place like, on the Hollow Knight leaderboard. And God. with that final submission, we now had Twitch chat vote on who is the <laughs> most stylish the cookie run. And, and I'm rigged. honored to say that out of the many incredible submissions in this contest, the winner of the most stylish run Was? is painting wild dry yeah yeah that followed makes sense closely by the rubik's cube run followed closely Cookie. by the olive oil truck followed narrowly by the guy who just sent me porn congratulations porn <laughs> of course that's the one okay full disclosure i'm actually legitimately surprised the people who got bribed by the cookie didn't win i fully expected that to come in the top five maybe it was the fifth one i don't know the fact that the guy who just sent the off red link is the one who got it oh my god that is of course that's the one. Oh. that said the painting one is that is a flex man that is i could beat your challenge but i value my time so i'm gonna do other things at the same time followed by the guy who did the rubies cubes but he had already won the hardest version and i was like <laughs> now i will only use part of my brain power to solve this rubik's cube and another one oh two easy rubik's cubes i have to go back to beating your game doug doug is crazy but his fans man they are ridiculously competent holy shit! i'm impressed and terrified in equal measure so if anyone took part in this and they're here you're insane and I really am glad you took part because that's insane, man. I love every second of this. Oh. <laughs> if you haven't already, there's a link below to the original video. Hit it up. If you've already done it, do it again because Doug Doug, he's awesome. Do it. And if you have any idea what I should check out next, let me know because there's a lot of things Doug Doug did. And if they're even close to this level of WTF inducing, I'm here for that. <laughs> Either way, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Adios.